What is going on, everybody? Got a Gamer Saloon tournament game. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Gamer Saloon always throws at least one big tournament per year. This year, they went the route of throwing only a $1,000 tournament. My game is against MIA for life, L-Y-F-E, I believe. And he is running a super custom on offense, so he has Philadelphia's playbook mixed in with some Denver, mixed in with some other stuff, and he gets the ball first. And as you see, we got him on fourth down already, and he play action and just lobs a pass up to Percy Harvin, who is at the tight end spot out of Trio in Philly. And then he's going to go ahead and roll out and throw to his man, and he's going to get the touchdown, but it's going to get overturned, so he's going to have to run another play. Gets in anyways, and he's going to go ahead and go for two and roll out, and my guy just falls over for no reason, just trips over somebody. So he got the two-point conversion, but what you're going to see is some time got added onto the clock. I had the wrong playbook, so I had to back out of the game and get the right playbook. I had to DC the game and start from there, letting him score and get the two-point conversion. So we're going to play from the point of DC. I'm going to playmaker my tight end up the field, and I'm going to hit him when I roll out and his flat zone comes down. He didn't really do anything special on defense, just typically tried to run community stuff. Um, a lot of 4-3 wide 9, couldn't really stop the run at all. And we're going to go ahead and go up top to Percy Harvin, and he gets his feet in. We're going to get the touchdown, and we're going to go for two. And at the start of the play, I had that hitch route there, but didn't have him, obviously, because he had a flat route. And on his second drive here, I noticed his icon switched to Y, meaning he has too many run audibles in his formations. So when he's running the ball, his running back turns to Y. So every time I see that, I just run commit. Getting him on third and longs, making him have to throw the ball. Throws a slip screen. My guy tackles him. Again, this is the Gamer Saloon Tournament, $1,000 tournament. After this game, I would have about three or four games to win the tournament if I win this game. And as you see there, we run commit again. I am running my defensive ebook on defense and the Denver offensive ebook on offense. And there it is. I lurk him, get him to throw something stupid, crossing around over the middle of the field. Now we are kind of in control of the game. We get the ball at half. We're only down two points. So all we really got to do is run the ball and score, get the ball back at half, right? Had some players open there, kind of ran into my line, and I just end up barely getting the ball away there, throwing it away. Here we go. We are out to the outside, and we are out of bounds. So we are back on fourth down. We're going to roll to the right. We're going to roll to the left. Still nothing. We're going to come back. Our receiver is going to stop, and we're going to have him open, and we're going to hit him for the first down. Looks like we're kind of struggling a little bit on offense. Could definitely be doing better. I was actually in a slump before this game. I actually lost around $350 uh, the whole night. This right here, it, it's about 5 in the morning right now. I get sacked. I end up taking a field goal. So I'm going to go up one, try to get a stop, and be up one at half with ball. So then maybe I can take better control of the game. He's going to lob it up to Percy. But my whole team runs over there, and he gets nothing. He's going to go ahead and try something again here. Scrambles with Russell Wilson. And he takes the timeout, and third and four, he's going to throw something that is just stupid. And for no reason here, he should be going for it. He would give me free points. It's just absolutely dumb. He's not going to score. He's got two seconds. He's going to run a read option, and that's going to be the half once I tackle Russell Wilson, hoping for a face mask or something. I honestly don't know. So second half, I start off with the ball, and I'm going to start off running. I'm going to just go down and I'm going to try and get points of some sort. As you see there, his defensive tackle, I've never seen a defensive tackle play a contain like that. I couldn't roll out the whole game when I wanted to. So now we're on third down, third and five, and we're just going to hit the drag and we're going to make it a little bit shorter for fourth down. For some reason here, I thought I could run the inside zone, and I had the hole to the right Why I tried to cut back inside. So now I got stopped, and he has the ball, and he's going to start chewing clock. Even though he's losing the game, if he scores here, it puts me in position to win the game. So kind of chewing the clock here is dumb, 
by him, but he's going to hike the ball at one second every single play, running traps, running a little bit of everything. And I'm going to get him on fourth down here. And I actually ran commit here, but my dude, again, falls over for no reason. Just like in the first half. my dude, my, Why are my dudes falling over for no reason? So he's going to roll out, and his corner out stops at the back of the end zone. But Malcolm Smith, for some reason, doesn't want to cover the tight end. So we got the ball again, and we are going deep to Percy Harvin, and we are already inside his 10-yard line. So what was the point of him clocking there? I don't know. We're going to go ahead, and we're going to try and score and tie this game. Oh, we had a touchdown there, but we got overthrown. So here we are on third and goal. Couldn't roll out again. Had him, but he stopped running. So here we go. I'm going to run verticals out of shotgun bunch. I had B wide open, didn't throw it. The guy I was looking at the whole time was the right bumper. Thought I was going to have him up the scene. So he has the ball. Basically, he's going to clock out the game, and he's going to get the win. Why he threw here, I don't know. He could have ran it down to the two-minute warning. Third and six now. He's going to go ahead, and he's going to hit the drag, and my dude doesn't tackle him, Averill, for no reason. So now the two-minute warning, and he passes on first down, and we get a sack fumble, and we recover. So now we have the chance to tie the game or take the lead. Not really feeling myself here again. As I was saying, I lost around $400 before I played this game. I got in the shout box, seen him asking for games. I said, let's play our tournament game right now. It's your best chance to beat me. I'm playing very bad. I'm coming out. I keep coming out with two clock on, so I chewed off like 30 seconds there. So now I have basically no time to score. So here we go on second and seven, and I throw a dumb pass. Should have been the game. Should have had a pick. Here we go again, third and seven, rolling out to the left, looking for something, just trying to get it into the end zone. And now here we go, fourth down. I'm going to come out and shotgun bunch verticals again, but this time I'm going to come out and it flipped, and I'm going to hope that I get the right bumper in the seam this time. I had X wide open, and I got the right bumper for the touchdown. So now here I am. I'm kind of pumped up. I lay down on my floor. I kind of decide what I'm going to do here. I'm thinking to myself, all right, well, I have two timeouts, so I got an extra 60 seconds to think about this if I want to. So we're just going to sit here, and we're going to think about what play I want to run, and we're going to let the play clock run down. NewAgeMadden.com is the website. I'm running Denver Mile High Offensive Guide and Swizzy's Advanced Defensive Guide. Sorry if I said defensive guide. Denver offensive guide, mile high. Swizzy's advanced defensive guide, defense. So here we go. My decision here is that I felt like he hasn't been able to really stop the run the entire game when I have ran it. But at the same time, I feel like if I throw a hitch rod out there, I will get my curl and I will get the two-point conversion. So I make the quick decision to run the ball, and he gets caught on his defensive tackle, and I get the two-point conversion for the game. So I am moving on in the tournament. Got about three or four more games to win. There's another bracket, but this is like, this put me into the, I believe, the final four of that bracket. So three games, and I win the tournament, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm also in the other bracket, so I could win that bracket too. If I win this one and I just win the tournament, I would win first and second place, which I believe first is 600. I'm not sure, but that's it for this video. Like, subscribe, deuces.